Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and sailingweather.co.uk, the sailing weather information service. This is your weekend and weekend outlook, um, updated on Friday the 7th of February. So for today then, uh, rigid high pressure is building through the region during the course of today. That means that the whole of the UK basically is going to be seeing improving weather once the rain clears away from the west. However, this is the system we're watching. Because by Saturday, the lows across Ireland, it's bringing in severe gale force west to southwesterly winds across much of southern Ireland, western Wales, southwest England, through the western channel. We're going to be looking at 9s to 10s here, sometimes up to 11s, possibly touching force 12 across the southern coast of Ireland with very, very big seas. You just don't want to be sailing there tomorrow. Across uh, the east of Scotland, we're looking here at east south is probably blown at around a 7, but they will touch an 8 at times. Off the eastern coast, we're south at 6s, um, but then increasing to 8s or 9s through the evening. Northeastern Scotland, I think more of a south south here, probably at a 5, but increasing 6s and 7s later. Sunday looks to be a windy one as well, still no good for sailing for most, westerly up the channel I think at an 8 or a 9 but probably easing off later in the day to a 7. The Irish Sea westerlies here 8s and 9s easing later to a 7, eastern coast of England westerlies at 8s or 9s easing to a 7 later, western Scotland westerlies at 6s and eastern Scotland westerly at 7 becoming a 6 later on. Monday sees a rigid high pressure building in again, so we're going more into a northwesterly. So we're going northwesterly, probably at a six in the western channel. I think northwesterly in the eastern channel around a four. The Irish Sea typically northwesterly at fives, western Scotland westerly at sixes, eastern Scotland westerly at a four, and eastern England probably going to westerly at four. Some heavy showers coming through across eastern parts of Scotland and eastern England, thanks to that trough, and also one or two showers out towards the west, but generally a much better day. Tuesday looks like this, another front moving its way eastwards, bringing heavy periods of rain. Ahead of it, eastern coasts are going to be into a south-southwesterly at sixes, perhaps a seven offshore, but then becoming westerly later at a five or a six. The channel, you can see here, these stronger winds through the channel. I think you need to watch in the channel for uh, winds starting off south at eights, touching nines, then becoming a west-northwesterly from the west at an eight, becoming a seven later. Uh, Irish Sea west south at sixes and seven. Western Scotland, West South Westleys here at eight. And then for Wednesday, well, the area of low pressure you can see here cleared into the continent on Wednesday, but that brings quite a strong northerly blowing at a 7 or an 8 in the eastern channel across East Anglia as well. Western parts of the channel westerly here at a 6 or a 7. The Irish Sea westerly is at 5s or 6s. Western Scotland, West South Westley at 6. Eastern Scotland, West South Westley 6. Eastern England, a Westley at a 4. And I think generally better visibility, but moderate or poor in the rain across the... Um, southeast of England and becoming moderate as these showers move into the west of Ireland. So I'm afraid not many sailing opportunities there. Uh, the stormy weather looks as if it is going to last through much of next week as well. Got my fingers crossed for the period around the 18th or 19th for an improvement. You might still an odd day before that, but I've got to say, things not looking particularly great. Of course, we'll update the forecast again on Monday for you. You can follow us on Twitter at WXWeb. And uh, whatever you're doing for now, have a great day and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.